All right, so I want to start my psychology of poker um, kind of series. Uh, when it comes to psychology and poker, I'm not talking out of my ass. Uh, I've got uh, two degrees in forensic psychology, and I'm teaching psychology at the City University of New York, from developmental psychology to group dynamics to everything. So I have a strong background in psychology. So I kind of want to talk about some concepts of psychology and poker. And the first one is your gut. All right, so. I find it to be the cutest thing on a poker table. So, you know, I asked some guy, I was like, you know, why'd you call there? Why'd you call that river? And he goes, you know, you know, Blake, you know, I felt it. I felt that it was the right thing to do. Now, your gut in life is very, very important. And essentially, from a cognitive model or from the way you process information, you, you know, it's very powerful. It's very power. Our gut instinct, we're processing information that we're not necessarily aware of, and our gut could be dead on sometimes dead on. But on a poker table, it's a little bit tricky. And here's why. It's tricky because you have a gut feeling, but you also have, I want to see what the hell the person has, or I'm curious, or I don't want to fold kind of feeling. So often, players don't necessarily have a gut feeling. All they have is, I want to see the river. So they justify that by saying, oh, I kind of feel that he's weak. You also have to ask yourself, where does this gut feeling come from? Okay. Now, usually, gut feelings come from a lot of experience. So if you've been playing poker for two months and you're going on your gut, you might be wrong a good percentage of the time. And, be, and this is how you test, all right? So th we have an, oh, there's a bias in humans and there's a bias in people for remembering the events where that they were correct and forgetting the events where they were incorrect. So one of the things you'll do is you'll remember all the time you say, you know what? I think he's got air and call with ace high. You'll remember the times you were correct, but the times you were wrong, you'll completely forget about. You cannot do that. You have got to honestly see how often your gut's correct. In the beginning, I did this all the time. I used to have all these gut feelings that were fucking wrong. Now I have gut feelings, but that's based on, you know, tons of experience and tons of playing. I've got, I don't even know how many hours I have at a poker table. So that gut feeling is like, you know, I, I remember when we were, I was teaching a class once and we're, we're playing in a hand and I'm like, he's got, we're playing, I'm playing online in front of the class and I'm like, the guy's got ace king, like we have to fold here. And the class is like, no, no. I was like, how do you know? I was like, trust me, the guy's got ace king. Like, no, no. So I called for like $150 on a river just to show them that I was correct. And they're like, well, how the hell did you know he had ace king? And I was like, I just know. But I'm teaching a class, so I have to explain. So I go back and explain all the little things that that person did that helped me, you know, helped me give me inclination to the fact that he had ace king. And, that, and that's a gut formed from seeing those things over and over and over again. Now there's also a body language gut or a nonverbal gut, which certain percentage of the population are very good at picking up. Uh, I own a body language consulting company and something that I'm going to bring to poker very shortly. You're going to see something pretty cool coming out in terms of body language and poker. Um, but for now, some people are good at picking up nonverbal cues. Most men aren't. Most men are terrible at it. But some people are. Some people are good at just spotting weakness or spotting somebody's nervous or anxious. And that's good. But be careful. But be very, very, very careful. Be careful with your gut. And it's an amazing thing when it comes from experience. If you haven't been playing poker for that long, your gut might be off. It may be right. But it might be off. And the only way to do it is honestly check. So when you have that gut feeling, I want you to take out a piece of paper. I want you to write gut feeling right, gut feeling wrong. And if you were right, check. If you were wrong, check. And if the rights greatly exceed the wrongs, it's are good. You have some sort of cool intuition or gut. But for most players, I guarantee you, for most players, that's not the case. For most players, what you're going to see is that you're dead wrong. You're dead wrong most of the time. So maybe it's slowed down with the gut. Logic's more important. Gut's more of an emotional thing grounded. It's logic grounded in emotion, but slow it down, okay?